This is part two of the Sears subject headings. Subject headings can also have a specific format or grammar. The subject heading can be a single noun, a compound heading, adjectives with nouns, or phrase headings. The grammar or subject headings for a single noun are as follows. The bold print here shows that the main topical subject heading, the other words are subdivisions for the subject heading. For compound subject headings, the headings can include and, and it can be longer phrases. Adjectives with nouns are also other subject headings. Can also include descriptive phrases such as grandparent or grandchild relationships. That's an example. And phrase subject headings. Some subdivisions are provided for you and can be used as they are printed in bold type in the Sears book. There are four types of subdivisions and they appear in a specific order in the subject string. They are topical, geographical, then chronological, then form. If you use a form subject heading, it is not necessary to also include a form subdivision. It is probably easier and more efficient to use the form subdivision for most works. Also remember there is a form or genre mark tag, which is 655, if you want to be able to search by genre for items in the collection. Examples of subdivisions are as follows on this slide. When you need to construct a subject heading, remember the order in which the subdivisions should appear. Books about biography as a literary form is given the subject heading of biography. However, we usually deal with collective and individual biographies in the library collection. Individual biographies are about one person, whereas collective biographies are about several people included in the one book, such as a group from a specific field of study or sport or historical event or even gender related, such as great women poets or sports figures or politicians. For collective biographies and individual biographies, you could use the form subject heading or simply add the form subdivision, which might be simpler and a little more efficient. There are name patterns to follow for adding the subject added entry personal name. Jesus Christ and William Shakespeare are the name patterns provided by Sears. Use your online access to Sears, the 18th edition, to see how these two patterns appear. The subdivisions under each of these names can be used for other names. The subdivisions in Sears under presidents, United States, can be used with other presidents or rulers of other countries as needed. Use, use of the subdivisions may not be necessary as the name alone is usually sufficient. The individual biography of Thomas Jefferson includes the dates associated with his life. There is a 600 subject added entry personal name for this book as well as the topical subject added entry 650 tag for the book. The collective biographies use a collective term but may also in some cases include 600 tags for each person in the book depending on how many are included in the collective biography. These are the tags most often used in subject headings for school materials. Subject headings tell us what the book is about. Tag 600 to 651 are subject headings. Tag 655 is not a subject heading, but it's a related tag that deals with the literary form or the genre of the work and can be used to access specific literary forms and genres within the collection. You might have a book about poetry or biographies or drama, in which case you could have a topical 650 tag subject heading that uses poetry or biography as the 650 subject heading. That is not the same as the former genre in which the book is a book of poems or a biography, which would be tag 655.
The 600 and 610 subject headings follows the same basic guidelines as the 100, 110, 700, and 710 tags. They have a parallel indicators and subfield codes. For database maintenance, check for matching 7 and 2 SEERS check indicators to make sure the indicator is correct for the data provided. In the 600 and 610 subject headings, which is the first type of personal name entry element. The zero is for name, one is surname, and three is the family name. In 610610, the second authority used to create subject headings are as follows on this slide, using a zero, one, four, and seven. These are some of the most commonly used subfields, such as personal name, titles or other things associated with the name, and dates associated with the name. For 610, the subdivisions are as follows. These are additional commonly used subfields. The 650 tag uses a blank indicator in the first position and then uses a 0, 1, 4, or 7, most commonly found in school library collections, in the second position. Check for database errors in this tag or check to make sure the 7 is accompanied by a 2. These are some examples of the 650 subfields. You have the subject string, topical terms, the general subdivision, geographic, chronological form, and the source. The indicators for 651 are the same as for 650. SEER subject headings require the indicator 7 and the subfield of 2 combination. The 655 tag has blank indicators but uses subfield codes and includes the two as the subfield for the source of the term used to describe the genre of the work. Local terms are fine, but you need to record the terms and be consistent in the application of the genre of similar works. This helps you create a bookstore approach to your cataloging so that it is easily retrieved. Some examples of the 655 tag. GSAFD stands for Guidelines on Subject Access to Individual Works of Fiction, Drama, etc. LCSH refers to the Library of Congress subject headings, and this publication is available from the Library of Congress. And local pertains to locally assigned genre headings, and all of these will be useful in your cataloging. These are the resources used for this presentation, and this concludes part one and part two of the Sears subject headings and classification system.